title of this writing is Point of View. The grasshopper must have been doing some jewelry shopping because he offered me this gem one day. Your point of view is not you. Point of view seems like a fancy term for opinion, but it's more than that. The ancient Egyptians determined there are 360 degrees in a circle, each degree being a point on that circle. That would mean there are at least 360 degrees from which to view a situation, but we often just pick one. Not only that, we claim that point of view is our identity. We stake our claim that our point of view is us. I'm a proud Lutheran. I'm a lapsed Catholic. I'm a meat-eating Hindu. These are just a few points of view that limit who we are. Once you buy into one point, you negate the other 359. That doesn't mean to abandon your spot on the circle. Just recognize that it's not you, only one view about you. Mathematically speaking, the whole you is every point on the circle, but we only claim one and often make a passionate case that it's the only point. I call that arguing for our limitations. Even though this recording isn't about religion, let me offer this. There's more than one way to get to heaven. If we fail to recognize that, we become exclusionary and dogmatic and become blinded to our wholeness. Who are you? Only you can answer that question. If you find that your answer cements you into one point on the circle, you've confused you with your opinion about you. You're broader than your opinions, but to find that out, you have to explore your circle instead of staying on point. Make it a point to get curious about additional points of view. It's not only eye-opening, but it also allows you to let more people into your circle of friends who will show you different points of view. All the best, John.